Good morning everyone. Today we will learn on chapter 9 is about linked list. So linked list is basically a data structure that is used to store information. However, it has some different comparing to array and we will talk in this lecture. Here is the brief of outline for this lecture. Firstly, we will see linked list introduction. Next, we will talk about advantages of using linked list and array and what are the differences and next we will uh, see example how we implement linked list using C++ language so what is linked list? it is a data structure that can store an indefinite amount of elements the elements here referring to the data that we want to store the information and it can store many data as much as we want because it use dynamic memory management to be noticed in, in a linked list each element is linked with each other with a pointer and to access to uh, linked list elements we need to access it sequentially and one important to know about linked list as we know that it consists of many elements so what does each element represent it should consist of the uh, data and a pointer the data is whatever we want to store if you have uh, uh, many data okay we just write it there to create a new data structure for representing this element and the pointer is basically used to point from one element to another as it is uh, uh, dynamically uh, created so we need to uh, connect them together such that we can access it later and there is a remark here uh, each element can be called uh, a knot also sometimes we call it a knot or sometimes it can call it element it's just the term used for uh, talking about uh, this data and the first element in the list is called head and the last element is called tail this is uh, important terms that we should be consider about and when we create a linked list uh, we need to create some certain data structure the first one is element which consists of data and the pointer and next we also store list uh, structure variables which consists of uh, and which represent the number of uh, elements in the list when we add element to the list we need to increment this variable and next we have a reference to the list we had in tail so these two data structure should be created so that we can store uh, information as a linked list in a compact way so next we will see the pros and cons of array and list so next we will see the array first in an array, it is a data structure that can store many elements, but the number of elements is fixed when we create it. It is fixed size. It means that if we create an array for storing 10 information, we cannot store more than that. And after we create an array, we cannot add more elements or we delete elements from the created array. And in order to access to element in the array, we need to uh, use index or it called position. For example, if you want to access to the element at slot number 9, we can access it with the index number 8 because the array, uh, basically the index starts from 0. However, you should notice that in some other language, for example in MATLAB, the index of the array is started from 1 so be noticed by yourself next we with an array we can access it faster because uh, based on index given a, a particular position we can access to it uh, directly so it allows the faster access through information However, in linked list, uh, as an uh, array is a limitation on how we grow elements inside list, linked list is an uh, advantage over the array as it 
we can dynamically add or delete elements from list and it use dynamic memory management however when we access to element list it gives us slower access because uh, we need to reference by the address as it use pointer so here we will talk about types of filling list there are two types we have a single link list and double link list Normally, in a single link list, uh, it has a link which connects one element to another in one direction. Either we link it to its successor or predecessor. But in the pulling list, it has both link to the previous and the next elements. As you can see in this uh, picture, my list one is representing a single link list and it has head and tail and each element uh, connected only with one pointer and in the second list my list 2 it is called a pull list because it has uh, one element has uh, two direction either it connect to the next element or the previous one Right. All right. So we will take a remark here. Uh, this there is a notice on the single and double link list. We will call it a circular link list in case that the pointer of the tail element point to the head, which means the last element point to the first element. This is called a circular link. And these are operation to work with. Uh, Link list, we can create a list, insert new element, and when we insert, we can uh, insert to beginning or end of the list or in any specified uh, operation. And we can also delete or element from the list, search element in the list, it means we looping through the list, update any element, display data, and some more function. So next we will talk a little bit more detail on single link. This is an example show on how uh, data is stored on single link list. You have the first element and you have the last element and each element are linked to one another using the address which is a pointer. As you can see here for example in the first element the pointer store the address of the uh, next element which is uh, addressed OX, OF, O3, 2O and 1, 0. If you specifically focus on the element itself, it consists of data and address to the next elements. And the, the element itself it also has its address. And this address is used in the previous elements which is used to link. So as you can see the operation with list, to be able to access to element, first we need a pointer which is an element pointing to the first which is the head of the list and next we can loop through element in the list until the uh, nil condition because we know that the last element it has a pointer pointing to nil. In a single link list we have one major drawback is that uh, we have an element it cannot point to the element behind it the previous element cannot be linked because we can only have one direction uh, accessing and in order to work with the link list uh, we need to create two data structure the first one is element which is used to store uh, data and it also contain a pointer for uh, linking one element to another and we have a list in order that we can arrange uh, uh, the compact form of link list. We should create a list which consists of head and tail. Where is the head of the list and where is the tail of the list. And in addition to this, we also have an n integer variable which is used to store the number of elements inside the list. Basically, when the list is first created, the value of n is 0. And when we add new element, the value of n is keep increasing one by one. This is show example how you create an empty element and you create a new element. Uh, 
uh, as here notification uh, on how we create a new element we specify the keyword new which is used to reserve memory address for this element and next we can add data to this reserve location also we need to update the pointer when it has the uh, only one element the pointer of this element is pointing to nil in case we want to add uh, more element to the beginning of the list we can okay simply create a new element and next uh, make the pointer of the element point to the head the next option is you need to uh, update the head to this uh, new element in case you remove it you can use a free uh, function make sure that before you remove it you update the head to the next element so here we create we can create a function to uh, create an empty list this function will return a pointer list so first step that we need to do is we create an empty list and next we reserve memory and we also set the initialization of n because when the list is first created the value of n is zero the next thing to do is to update the uh, head and tail of the list into the nil because there's no element in the list yet next we will take a look on how we can insert element to the beginning of the list we can create a new function insert beginning here we say insert b and it takes two parameters the first one is list second one is data to be inserted so inside the, the this function what we do is we uh, create the new element and we make the pointer of this element pointing to head of the list simply done by the uh, step number two and next we change the head because now e is adding to the beginning of the list it means that e is, of, is the head now so by uh, writing at line number three we uh, make head point to e so last but not least we need to update tail uh, in case that there is no element in the list yet the, this new element now is also become the head but in case that there is element in the list already uh, this we don't need to concern with the tail anymore and finally we need to increment the value of n which is located in the list so we can use uh, ls access to n and you plus it one increment by one so that's it for how you can insert element to beginning of the list display element list uh, you can create a function and then you pass a list variable into it so to do this we need to start from head the method is to provide a, a temporary variable you point it to head and as we know that the last element of the list it point to nil so you can use a while loop and the condition is not uh, equal to nil and each time the loop is running you will specify the uh, steps to move forward which is uh, can be done by this operation uh, tmp equal to tmp next it means that whenever the, the loops runs again uh, you move the tmp variable into next and there will be a time that tmp here will point to nils which is the end of the list and then the loop will stop executing so this is how you can display element in the list this is whatever you want you can display you can do operation okay based on your uh, requirement here this is simply explain you how you insert element to list uh, create an element first and then make the last element point to the new element because you want to add it the function to do this uh, okay you can consider first to check if the value of n is equal to zero it means no element in the list yet Insert, to the, insert element to n is the same as you insert element to beginning of the list so you just simply call to this function when n is 0 and next okay when n is not 0 there's element in the list what you need to do is that simply create a new element and next we uh, change the tail the pointer of tail now is not pointing to nil it points to e which is the new element and now uh, e should become uh, the tail of the list 
we can uh, assign it by this way ls trail point to e instead last but not least okay you increment uh, the value n here so that's it on how you can uh, insert a new element to n of the list there are two steps here the first one you check if there is any element in the list if no element at all inserting to n of list is the same as inserting element to beginning of the list and uh, if there is any element in the list you check create a new element and then change the pointer of the current tail into the this new element and next update uh, tail variable to be this new element okay all right so now that's uh, it's done uh, presenting all of those uh, knowledge on English and we have seen on how we store the data in English how we create operation in uh, in order that we can store like uh, we initialize uh, list variables we insert a new element to bring up this we display uh, all data inside a list and we also see on how we can insert an element to end of the list so next thing we need to do we will come and look on implementation part how we can